All right, so uh, here at Guerrero, we make the claim that most men have a bisexual potential that is repressed by a homophobic culture. Uh, and the way some people try to immediately dismiss this is, aha, are you saying then that gays aren't born that way? Because, you know, most people accept that gays are born that way, so they falsely assume that if we know that gays are born this way, then, then what we say the opposite of gay is straight must also have been born that way. That's logically inconsistent. So if, let's take an analogy. So let's say uh, some people are born exclusively left-handed, and then we notice that some people are right-handed. If we figure out that people who are born left-handed, that it's some gene or it's some hormones, or that they're born left-handed, exclusively so, does it make sense to then assume that people who are right-handed must have been born that way the same way? And the answer to that is, is no, it's not. You could easily have people who are born left-handed and the people who are born right-handed are actually all ambidextrous. And culture makes them right-handed, like, oh, you must only use your right hand. And in fact, in culture, that's, that's actually happened, is people who were left-handed were told not to use their left hand. Now, the analogy breaks apart there because people who are left-handed can start to use their left hand to some degree. Okay, but, but just to get back to the analogy is if there are people who you cannot use their right hand, okay, and they're exclusively left-handed, and we find that people are exclusively right-handed, it could very well have been that they are able to use both of their hands, but something prevents them, like culture prevents them from using their left hand. They're shamed of using their left hand. Now, the people who are exclusively left-handed, uh, they would they would not be able to use their right hand. Now, again, the analogy breaks down. I think the science is that uh, people are born left-handed, right-handed, but as an analogy, you know, logically it is not, uh, not consistent to say because we know that people over here are born a certain way and what we define the opposite of that to be, that they, are, they must also be born that way. That is not logically consistent. So you can't dismiss Grero and the fact uh, and, the, and, and male bisexuality or the potential of male bisexuality because it's not a circle square, okay? It doesn't start off logically inconsistent and contradictory. Now, there still has to be evidence, but that's why, you know, I wrote the book. So uh, continue reading that, and if you have any questions, let me know.